so instead of sharing about my illness with chronic Lyme disease and my confections and my bacillus activation disease and um, my interstitial cystitis, I decided to share actual things that I also battle in my life. I've heard a lot of people talk about um, depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, and everything. And I wanted to kind of share the own, the, my own struggles um, that I know others deal with also, especially with any illness that they end up having that's life-changing. You see, I have been going to a counselor for maybe five times now, and I've been doing different things um, for her. I have been doing um, something to do with stinking thinking and things to categorize my thoughts and my emotions and if, um, what I do more of and how to fix it or you know whatever. Honestly, I didn't understand the concept of um, these assignments because it kind of makes you feel like sometimes your thoughts are irrelevant even though they mean to you and that they are relevant. It's just you feeling like they're irrelevant. Life is hard for anybody and sometimes we have people in our lives there for us but then sometimes we don't you see I only have a few people who are actually there in my life but the more that I've been going through counseling the more I've learned that I need to really think about what a friendship is and what an acquaintance is I may sit there and consider people my friends because I'm there for them, but that's not what friendships are about. Friendships are about people who have someone there for them and you're also there for them as well. In my life, I find myself alone a lot. I, I suffer um, alone and or only have one person who tries to be around to help me. It is hard because of not really knowing what to do or how to feel or um you know you really want to have someone there for you but you can't force them to be there for you i've learned through time with going to the counselor that um people that i've known for a very long time and have been in their lives and stuff haven't really been making an effort to check up on my, like, actually give me the time of day or, you know, just t do a random text saying, I'm thinking of you or, you know, how are you? Um, all I've been getting is things like, can you do this for me? Um, I need to just really think about, um, like the counselor says, I really need to work on moving on, but it's a lot easier to say than do you know it's hard for me to make friends because i have anxiety and i don't do well in social events and um it i have to really like um feel comfortable around somebody to to interact with them if i don't feel comfortable then i'm not going to interact with them or um it will take me a while to really um, be able to feel confident enough to say hi to somebody or, um, you know, really try to build a friendship with somebody. Um, I have a few people in my life that um, I have semi been um, able to interact with them, and especially some people at church. I can sit there and I can interact with them then. Um, but I don't really interact with them all the time. Um, I know I have people who care about me, but it's hard to see that, um, you know, who really does take the time to message me or call me and, and see how I'm doing. Um, instead of me taking the time to message them and call them, you know, I find myself doing that more 
and uh, my counselor isn't really thinking that's healthy. Um, so she has been talking to me about the differences between friendships and acquaintances, and um, it's been really hard. Um, today was really hard, but um, I think as time goes by and um, I just think more about it and and I just try to learn how to move on, I'll be okay. Um, for those of you who struggle with interacting with people like myself, um, I know how it feels, um, but don't allow things to stay inside and torture you. Um, try to find somebody that you know that cares about you and who's willing to listen. Tell them how you feel. I know that there's got to be somebody out there willing to interact with you. You know, if you don't feel like you have anybody, you can comment and I can try to help you and listen and, and be there for you. Even if, if it's far away, you know, I, I, I just really want to try to share my story and my own battles with others because I know that there's so many people out there who are dealing with these battles as well. Um, yes, I know I haven't talked about um, my line battles and stuff like that. I'm learning that my assignment is to work on not talking about it really, um, or at least time it how long I've to spend on it because I can't allow my illness to define me. I need to find who I am. And um, that's another thing I'm working on is trying to figure out who am I? What is my purpose? Um, right now, I think helping others is my purpose. So um, I hope that just sharing some things about what I battle like with my own mentality can help others. Um, you see, I do have chronic depression and I do have anxiety and other things probably, but you know, I hide it pretty well. But that's what we all do is we can hide it pretty well. But um, if you feel alone and you feel like you need to talk or if you're having moments where you think you should um, end your life, um, try to reach out to somebody that you care about or that that you know that cares about you and call the suicide hotline um, or just, you know, seek some help. You know, people care about you. You know, life is a gift and um, I know it's hard to really know that um, but it is it's a gift and um, again um, if you need to talk and you don't feel like you have anybody um, I'm willing to try to help in any way just send me a comment or a message um, I hope you all have a, a blessed day and uh, thank you for listening.